Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on the Motorola Moto G56. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, as a first method I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your uh, old device into your Motorola uh, and as a second method I will show you how to restore backup from the Google one. So, uh, in here select your language, then click on next and already we have the first uh, thing that we want uh, and it's set up using another device. Let's select the Android device in my case uh, and now we need to scan this QR code using our second device. So um, I need to scan this code. Just give me a second, I need to first um, unlock my phone and as you can see already uh, the information appeared on my phone to set up the device we can click it uh, right in here uh, but if it won't this uh, appear on your phone simply open up your camera app and uh, open up the google lens uh, or your qr uh, code scanner and simply scan this qr code then click on setup and now uh, it should be okay now again we need to scan the code okay now i need to enter the password to uh, to confirm Okay, now as you can see the phone is uh, connecting to the Wi-Fi automatically Okay uh, Now we have the privacy and security settings. Let's click on uh, more and accept Okay, getting information about the phone, so let's simply wait. Okay, checking information about the about the phone. All right, now we need to verify using our pattern. So simply draw the pattern that you had on your previous mm, phone. Okay, now we have getting account info. Uh, if you don't have the uh, SIM card uh, inserted or your uh, eSIM uh, enabled, you can click on skip, just like me. And now if you can, and if you want, you can set a pin for your new device but i'm also going to skip it uh, i'm sorry if it's too bright for you but uh, i cannot adjust the brightness during the setup process and now we have option to copy data from our android device we want to click on next mm, on our second device we can see that we need to continue the setup on our motorola so let's uh, wait until this loading screen is finished All right, so we are now after the loading screen and now the phone uh, wants us to connect uh, both devices to each other using the cable. Uh, if you don't have a cable that fits just like me, you can click right in here that cable doesn't fit and click on copy without cable. Uh, all right, now we need to uh, uh, confirm mm, with the uh, lock screen. So click on, uh, so click on next. And now I need to type the same uh, lock screen that I had on my previous device. So that's what I'm going to do. Then click on confirm. Uh, and now we have option to choose what we want to restore. Um, I know it's really bright, but unfortunately I cannot 
change the brightness. Mm, so uh, in here we can restore apps, contacts, SMS messages, device settings and the call history. Uh, in here simply select what you want to uh, what you want to uh, copy and what you want to restore. Uh, for example, when it comes to the apps, uh, you don't need to, um, you know, copy all of them, all 81, but simply uh, you can click on them and in here you can manually select which apps you want or don't want to copy. Uh, in my case, I don't want any of my apps to be copied, so I'm going to unselect that and then I'm going to click on restore. And now the process has started, as you can see. Now we have the uh, Google services. We want to click in here on accept. In here, we're going to turn on the backup. It is pretty useful feature. And now we have option to select the default browser. So mm, click on next. Uh, in my case, I'm going to select the Google Chrome as my uh, default search engine and the Google, uh, uh, sorry, the Google Chrome as my default browser and the Google as my search engine. Click on set as default. Mm, in here, click on continue. And now we have feature to let nearby contacts uh, find and share with uh, us. You can click on agree, it's completely up to you. Uh, now we have the Gemini, which is the AI assistant. I'm gonna uh, click on turn on in here. Now we have the Google Pay. In here I'm gonna click on skip. In here click on OK. OK, again we have the login screen, so we need to wait. So I'll see you once it's finished. Okay, uh, I'm back and now we have uh, Motorola Stay in Touch. Uh, this feature, uh, you, if you want, you can click on Allow for notifications, but in my case, I'm gonna click on uh, Note Now. Mm, in here, if you want, you can uh, sign up, but in my case, I'm gonna click on Note Now. Uh, in here, you can enable to use a live lock screen if you want. I'm gonna leave it. Mm. Now, select your navigation style, it can be buttons or the gestures. Uh, I'm gonna select the buttons, click on next. Now select your theme, I'm gonna leave the light one, then click on next. And I'm gonna skip the parental controls, click on finish. And now we are ready to use our device. Mm. And here I'm gonna click on skip. And now we are ready to use our our new Motorola. Alright, so that was the first method. And now let me show you how to uh, restore backup from the Google one. Okay, so as you can see, again, we are doing the setup process. Uh, but now when we have option to set up using another device, we need to click on skip. Now we need to connect to the Wi-Fi manually. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Let me type the password. Give me a second. Then click on connect. Okay. Mm, now scroll down and click on accept. Now again we have uh, a process uh, running. So I'll see you once it's finished, because it might take a little bit. All right, and now we have really important thing. We have option to uh, sign in into our Google account. Uh, and now we need to log in into the same account on which we made the backup before. Uh, also, if you don't know how to create a backup on this Motorola on our channel there is a video and I'm showing you the whole process so if you want you can look for it so now simply type the exact same mail on which you made the backup uh, earlier that's what I'm going to do okay now click on next and now we need to type our password then click on next Now click next, click on agree. Okay, now we have getting account info. In here I'm gonna click on skip. 
Just like in the previous method. I'm also going to skip a pin. You can always set it up later in the settings. Now click on next when you have copy apps and data. And that's the thing that we wanted to achieve, restore data from another device. So in here we have a list of backup uh, that we made on our account. In here, as you can see, I have the backup from this Motorola, so I'm gonna select it. Then I'm gonna click on next. Mm -hmm. Now I need to confirm using the lock screen uh, that I had before. And now we need to choose what we want to restore. And that's basically the same list that was uh, before when we were copying apps mm, from the second device. Uh, I'm gonna copy everything instead of the apps. Then I'm gonna click on restore. Again, we have the Google services. I said this should only click on accept. I'm gonna turn on the backup because it's a useful feature. Now setting up the default browser, again, in my case, Google Chrome. Click on set as default and Google as my search engine. Click on continue. And here I'm gonna click on that I agree. When it comes to the Gemini, I'm also gonna turn on the Hey Google option. Mm, I don't want to activate it uh, right now. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off actually. Uh, in here, I'm gonna click on skip. In here, click on OK. And now we need to wait again until the loading screen is done. Okay, now again we have that Motorola stuff. I'm gonna click on not now. I don't want any notifications to, uh, to come in here also. I don't want to sign into anything. I'm gonna leave the uh, live log screen. Click on next. Uh, I'm gonna leave the buttons as my navigation style. I'm gonna select the light theme, then click on next. And uh, I don't want any parental controls, so I'm gonna click on skip. Now click on finish, click on go to my home screen. In here, I don't want any of those apps to be installed, so I'm gonna click on skip. And now we are ready to use our device. And also mm, remember that some of the apps might be installed in the background, just like uh, in here, as you can see. Uh, so uh, please don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet because, you know, they are being installed from the Google Play Store and the internet connection is uh, required. So don't disconnect yet. Simply wait until everything will be downloaded. And yeah, you are ready to use your device. All right. So that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.